Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please consider subscribing to the channel and helping us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Today we are taking a look at jeans that sold on eBay. We're going to take a look back at the month of November. And I have pulled up some of the jeans we sold, not every single jean sale, but I pulled up a lot this month to show you because uh, I wanted to talk about different brands with you. If you're interested in the actual cost of goods and what each item sold for and if I took offers, make sure you tune in to this channel every Tuesday. I do a what sold on eBay video and talk about the last week's sales. But today we're just going to go through these and talk about the brands and why or why not I think they're good brands to source. Keep in mind, our cost of goods is very low. When I do go out to the thrift stores around here, I get most of my items for 99 cents. And when I order wholesale, they're between a dollar and two dollars, depending on if I have coupon codes or get a code for free shipping. And we have a volume based business. So I do a lot of the bread and butter brands, but we'll talk about that as we go through each one. So this is a new to me brand, Verve. It came in a thread up box. It is one that I will be on the lookout for. Um, I did disclose that it had some puckering and it still sold for a pretty good amount. Probably would have listed these a little bit higher if they were in a little bit better of condition. So this is a new to star brand, but I like it. I love it. And I want some more of it. This was weird. So here's the thing. Brand aside, denim maxi skirts are a bolo khaki too and you want to use keywords like maxi and modest most of your really long skirts like this are going to sell pretty quickly this one sold within a week but this brand was really hard to find i couldn't find it on ebay couldn't find it on poshmark i think it's from the uk because of this tag I ended up just making up my own price. I may have found one that sold using the Terapeak research tool on eBay, but I just decided to put it up for like 28 bucks and see what happened. Um, and it sold. It was a size 18, which is a good size. That's considered plus size. It is a denim skirt, long, modest. So this isn't technically jeans, but it's still denim. And I wanted to talk about it with you. Um, look for these skirts. Not necessarily this brand, but next up we have Walmart. <laughs> I'm not kidding you when I tell you I sell Walmart. Typically, I only get the plus size different Walmart brands like Fade of Glory and Time and True for 99 cents at the thrift. If they're plus size, I grab them and I can get 20 to 25 bucks for them. This is a smaller size. It did come in a thread up, so this isn't something I would have chosen for myself. But because it came in the front up, I list everything I can out of those boxes. I squeeze out every penny of profit I can get. I already paid for the entire box, had it shipped to my door. I might as well list everything I can. If it's not damaged or stained beyond being able to sell it, I list it. And I got, you know, like 15, 16 bucks for these. They shipped ground, so... I just want to talk about that a little bit. Like, don't discount things. When you buy wholesale, when you buy big purchases from ThreadUp, you're not always going to get the huge sought-after brands. But those brands are going to be the ones that pay for your purchase, and then every little bit of profit you can eke out after that is golden. If you work in batches, which I just did a video on that, so I'm going to link it after. This is over. I'll have it pop up, and you can watch it if you want. But I just did a video on how to do batch work and bulk scheduling to maximize your productivity. So if you're sitting and doing a whole bunch of jeans in one day, it doesn't hurt to do these lower end brands if they came to you in a box you've already paid for. Royalty for me. So this is another thread up box um, brand that I just decided to list and see what I could get for it. I got over 20 bucks all in. Now, I would avoid royalty for me at the thrift with one exception. They have a one a bet a butt, which is a slimming line. 
I always grab those. Why am I and royalty are both brands I avoid unless I find the wanna bet a books. So these were new with tags, which is why I picked them up. I did pick these out myself. I figured 99 cents, new with tags. I think I sourced them like towards the end of the summer. So I figured, hey, we're going into Q4. People are looking for new with tags clothing right now to give as gifts. So I, I'm not that discerning about brand, honestly, when it comes to things that are new with tags or plus size, if the cost is 99 cents. Articles of Society is a good brand. You want to keep your eyes out for this, especially the men's. The men's sell for more always. These are the Dylan, but I would pick up women's too. So this is a brand you should be on the lookout for. Obviously, Miss Me Jeans, we sold a couple of these last month. You should be able to get around $40 for Miss Me Jeans, however you want to break that down. 40 free ship, 30 10 ship. 32 eight ship, but you should be able to get 40. These used to be more of a $50 price point brand, but you know what I'm about to say. People race to the bottom and brands lose their value over time. Um, but these are still a good brand. People still do pay like 40 bucks for them all in. Sometimes you can get even a little bit more if you can get them to sell on Poshmark. Judy Blue is a Bolo brand. New with tags is going to go for a lot more and used is going to go for right around 40, 60 to 80 for the new with tags. I mentioned the new with tags because I did find several pairs of Judy Blue at the thrift recently. Some were new with tags and some were not. So, and they were the first time I had ever found them in the wild. I've known about Judy Blue for years and I've known that they were a Bolo brand, but I have never found them, never gotten them in any kind of wholesale box. And then suddenly one day at the thrift, oh, there were like 10 pairs. And then for a couple of weeks in a row, every time I went, there were more. And I haven't found any since. But I did find maybe 20 pairs total. They sell really quick. They sell well. They sell for good money. Uh, so keep your guys' eyes out for Judy Blue. Guys' eyes. Perry Ellis is kind of like a... It's a poopy brand, but when you can get the men's jeans, they'll still sell for around $25, and they don't take that long, especially if they're bigger sizes. You guys hear me talk about Hollister on this channel all the time. I cannot keep Hollister on the shelves. Whenever I list it, it sells. It sells really fast for me. It's usually smaller sizes or juniors that are going to ship ground this particular pair ships priority uh so i, I can tell because i put ten dollar shipping on it they were a little bit thicker and bigger than like the size zero skinny jeans i usually get in hollister these came in a thread up and they're the joggers and they have the elastic waist and cuffs i've had jogger pants like this in several brands with the elastic waist and cuffs and every time I've listed jeans like this, they usually sell with, within a few weeks of being listed, this style. Angel's Genie. So this is a poop brand. I want to show this to you right now. <laughs> Do not look for these on purpose. But if you get them in a thread up box, go ahead and list them. They'll sell for like around 20 to 25 bucks all in. Next up, we have... Madewell, this is a Bolo brand, not as high a value as it used to be because, again, people race to the bottom and they can lower the value of brands when they do that. Don't do that. Uh, they're about 35 to 40 now, depending on which style you get. They usually have a name on them, and you can just look up that name when you go to comp them. Old Navy, Gap, American Eagle. Those three are like my trifecta. I didn't even pull an American Eagle out to show you. Um, but I sell several pairs of Old Navy jeans a week. I sell several pairs of Gap and American Eagle every single week. Here's a pair of Air Apostle. This is another, you know, like Abercrombie or Hollister. It's a lower end mall brand. Most people think it's poop. I love to sell them. They move quick for me. 
Empire Tessa. So this was new to me. Never heard of them until they came in a thread up. And they sold for pretty good um, as far as bread and butter goes for a good amount and length of time. So I would so I would source these if they were less than two dollars. I wanted to show you these because they are denim shorts and I cannot talk about that enough on this channel. Shorts are different than than full length jeans. There are certain brands that are absolute utter garbage poop. I would never source or try to sell the jeans, but I would snatch the shorts up in a heartbeat. Even the lowest lows are going to sell for like 12 to 15 bucks. Most of them are going to sell for a lot more. They sell fast. So don't discount booty shorts or jean shorts. Like if you can find them at the thrift for a dollar or two, or if they have like a half off day or an end of the season sale and they're cheap enough, I buy the whole rack. Like when they're 99 cents, I will buy every single pair on the rack. I love when I get a box from thread up that's mostly shorts it's it's a done deal they're gonna sell same with denim jackets which is why i want to show you this even though this is jeans that sold i wanted to take a moment to reflect on denim jackets much like shorts poopy brands of jeans will still do well when it comes to jackets this is a j jill jean jacket sold i think i took a best off for 20 i can't remember um, but I started the price at 35 on a J. Joe and it sold within a week of being listed. I mean, this is not a brand I would ever pick up in anything else, but denim, 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 especially shorts and jackets. And then I got a pair of women within. So I believe this is also a Walmart brand. It's a really generic brand, but whenever I find the really large sizes like this, this is a pair that I specifically sourced myself on purpose off the 99 cent sale and got you know 20 bucks haul in for them they didn't take long to sell i got two shirts i want to talk about with you because they're brands that people typically associate with jeans and i've talked about that on this channel also when i find women's shirts or men's shirts or sweaters that are a brand that is typically associated with jeans i will still pick them up if the price is right like a couple bucks or less that goes for Paige, Madewell, Cut from the Cloth. I've sold plain blue Madewell t-shirts for 20 bucks. People pay for the names. And when they're recognizable, Bowden is a good one too, B-O-D-E-N. Um, people will pay up for it. So this is Wrangler, George Strait. And then I have a sweater by Paige that sold for good money as well. And didn't take long, but that could have been the season. But... If it's a recognizable jeans brand in a shirt, I find that I do really well with them. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything you saw in this video, selling jeans or reselling in general, let me know in the comments. I do answer everyone. If you want me to get back to you more quickly, join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. You can tag me there or just ask a question in general to the group. Everyone there is really nice. It's a very chill group, very positive. People will never be mean to you or tell you you have stupid questions. They're always nice and, and willing to help. Hey, guys, go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.